So if you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. We're here to talk about a few things, including some new types of clamps and a little bit of a printing test that somebody on the uh, in the comments asked for and I thought I would oblige. So stick around, let's see what we came up with and see if we can have some fun. Thanks, I'm Ron and this is my place. So we have so much I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to try and not uh, delay everything, so we'll get right into it. Let's get rid of business first. The first thing I wanted to talk about was there was a number of discussions, situations, etc. done about the Prusa i3 Mark III when it came to artifacting when it, on print uh, sides. Mainly it was showing like the sides of prints, and there was just this weird artifacting. It showed a little bit. Uh, people were seeing it, like the Maker Muse saw it on some of his, uh, Angus saw it on some, uh, the egg that he printed. Um, I did not. I'm not seeing any of the artifacting that everybody's talking about on the Mark III. Not everybody. Some people are talking about it on the Mark III. Um, but on, one of the members on the forum, I can't remember who it was, and I apologize, um, but they had a neat idea. They were wondering, well... Not only were we seeing artifacting, but is there artifacting being caused by the different um, types of printing, like Octoprint, Repetier Server, or SD Card? Um, I've heard that a number of times that there's some weird artifacting that can occur when it comes to printing off of the, uh, the USB. I don't really believe it. I haven't seen it personally, but I thought it would be interesting to give it a shot, and I had all the setups to do it, so that's what I did. And I ended up printing a bunch of three different towers, the exact same G code, one on the SD card, one the exact same G code copied into Octoprint running from a Pi 3, and then also another one running from a Pi 3 but coming off the Repetier server. Um, and I gave it a shot and I printed and I saw absolutely zero difference. So as you can see, this is, was an interesting tower print that the idea was it starts at zero and it also was printing because it rotates up to a 45 degree angle and that also allows you to have a nice ghosting um, test. So as you can see as I'm rotating back and forth a number of things. First off there is absolutely no issues with the finish. This is using PETG by the way. Uh, Maker Geek PETG. And there's also almost no ghosting at all either. It's I, I'm not going to say that I printed crazy fast. I ended up slicing this with Simplify 3D. And I think I had it limited to 70 millimeters per second maximum. Uh, but I'd go for quality, not blazing crazy fast speed anyways. Um, and as you can see looking at this, I mean, look at that finish. There's, It's gorgeous. And all of them are identical. There is literally no change, no difference. And again, that's one One was with Repetier, one was with Octoprint, and one was straight off an SD card. Um, and I'll, again, no ghosting either. They were beautiful. Just a simple little print. And you'll see SD. This one was done in Octoprint. And this one was Repetier Server. So there you go. So again, scientific, eh, it works. Uh, I had no problems with it. Uh, I also have no issues with, like I said, the when I printed the egg, I had no issues with any kind of artifacting or strangeness i did see well there was just a little bit of roughness on the edge but i think that was just the wobbling of the arms i don't think it had anything to do with the mark three although i don't yeah i see it a little bit on the the giant one i printed on the cr10 as well i think it's just these arms that were moving so anyways and here's the other the little guy yeah i like the cube this egg it's kind of cool so anyways I didn't see an issue. So there's that one. So hopefully you liked it. Uh, yeah, so you get some information from it. Then I wanted to talk about, as I just blast your eardrums, 
another clamp. So this one, whoa, this one is slightly different, definitely smaller than the other big one that I had. And it, this has got two knobs that go in and out for for clamping this stuff. I mean, it's, I don't know. This one printed easier and I thought it was simpler to put together. Uh, I just watched the little video and it, they claim it's really, really strong. So I thought I'm going to see if I can hurt myself and uh, it'd be fun to see if we can bust the bottle cap. Um, I don't know. We'll see. The guy that made this did this already. So this is not anything new. But it's new to me. Okay. Way too long. I'm going to... Uh, I had originally intended... I'm going to probably ha hack all the video that I of me try... I had a lot of trials. I was trying to break a bottle cap with this. Uh, it's just simply too flexible. And it just wasn't working. Uh, but... I'll have to use this out in the in the shop and see how it compares to this one. It'll be interesting to see. This is uh, this is pretty good too. I I wonder if this one will bust it or bust the clamp. It's going to work either. They're just too... It's bending up. If it wouldn't be so floppy, it would certainly do it. Anyway, I give up. These things are pretty darn strong, though. Uh, I'll mess around with them in the wood shop, use them as a clamp, and do a report on them. But they're do go doing good. Um, so anyways, I'm going to probably hack out all the, the failed attempts because I look pretty silly and get rid of all that plastic. All right, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was a quick mention on this. This is actually a print that I did for work, and there's an experiment going on, and they're using this as kind of a literally an iterative design to be a um, jig inside of a chamber. And there's a two-piece. The other piece is already at work. Um... But what I wanted to bring up is about how to, on a design. It's, you notice there's a lot of space here, right? And this was originally, was going to be all one big flat piece. Well, the problem is even with PLA and everything, a piece of plastic that big will warp. It just, it, it's gonna. It, it's so hard to do, uh, get a big flat piece like that without any warpage at all. But if you put some space in here, and holes, it doesn't impact the design. It's still very, very strong, but it gives all the things, all the filament layers kind of a, a way to, to move around and you don't get any of the warpage. Um, so make sure you're paying attention to that when you're doing your designs. If it doesn't have to be one big giant fl flat piece, put some relief cuts in it. It'll save you plastic, it'll save time, and it'll keep the print flat. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about that. I thought it was interesting. Um, again, I call bunk on the artifacting. Um, I, I don't see it uh, either with the regular print or any of the uh, like Octoprint or Repetier server. They all look good to me. Hope you enjoyed it. Ho hopefully I can edit this so I don't look too stupid. Um, I really wanted to break something and I didn't get to break anything. Uh, it makes me kind of sad. So have a good day. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, remember, hit the subscribe button. Like it if you like it. Dislike it. Let me know why. If you want to support the channel, there's plenty of links down below. Um, some affiliate links, even if you don't want to buy anything from there. If you could just use it as kind of a jumping off point, it would be greatly appreciated. 
Thank you much. And uh, my computer tried to restart. <laughs> Have a good day. Print everything you can.